welcome back to the off-grid family. Today I'm going to be showing you how this gets rid of leaf miners. They're pesky little things and they can completely destroy your crop. So you want to get there before they get it. Well, no, because you don't know you've got it. Doesn't matter. Just see how it's made. <laughs> right, this is a courgette plant. And can you see here, this is called leaf miners. Now this one has completely destroyed it. So the solution I'm going to make up is not going to save this one. So we're just going to cut that one. But this one here, what we're going to do is we're going to cut around here and then we're going to spray the rest of the leaves. This is a courgette. If you come and have a look at the peas. So the pea, this is also the same. But if it was just this, then I would say, excuse me bird, I would just say it's dead but because it's got these ones well, hopefully that it will survive so I'm going to cut these ones off and then I'm going to spray the rest but as you can see it could possibly be on the others the whiteness of it so what we're going to do is if you do come across these you don't want to put them in your compost bin you want to put them out in the regular waste because they will destroy everything so you can squish them and you can feel them, it's like a little tunnel and they kind of like pop so what you can do is just you can feel them and they just they just feel like pop, they just pop underneath in your hands so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a solution up so what you need to make this solution for this uh, leaf miner is water I've got 700 mils because this bottle holds a litre so I know that that's going to fit into there. Basically you want to make a white oil. So I have got some oil and some ferroliquid. Now you can use, it's better to use the eco-friendly ferroliquid, but I haven't got any. So I'm going to use this. It's, you know, you've got to be careful with spraying it onto your vegetables if you're going to eat them, obviously ingest, ingesting them. But um, I'd rather have some vegetables than none at all. So you want two spoonfuls oh, hang on. the oil and you want a spoonful of the fairy liquid you want to stir You see it. Now I'm going to pour it into the bottle. I'm going to do it over the sink though because if you watch any of my videos with the jars, small spout, spout, spout like that, it's never going to go in. So bear with me a minute. Right, so I've poured it in over the sink and yes, I did get it everywhere. So you need to give it a really good shake now, mixing the oil, the water. And the fairy liquid. Ugh. And spray kitchen table. So now I'm going to show you how to put it on the leaves. Come back outside. All right, so as I said, this one here is too far gone. Now, if it only had, regardless, forget about these two leaves here, because these are going to die back anyway. But if it only had these two leaves, then I'd say, okay, it's not going to really stand much of a chance. These two here are new, so I, I can afford cutting this one off. So we're going to get rid of this one. Stamping on it, squishing it, it's going to go into a normal bin, not into your compost bin because it will destroy everything. So that's going to go there for now. And then what I'm going to do, oh look, there's a little leaf there, a little fly there, look. It's a green fly. We don't want him on our leaves, thank you very much. So... I'm going to cut that and that's going to go in with that one. Okay, you want you don't want to do this when it's baking hot because obviously oil it will scorch the leaves. So now you want to do them all. And you want to do underneath as well. You don't want to do too much on the courgettes. 
on their leaves because it will damage them. But make sure you get underneath as well. Be careful of the little prickles that are underneath, you don't want to break them. Okay, so same with these. If it was only a few leaves, um, that would be a problem. But because we've got more leaves, established leaves, it'll be absolutely fine. Now I've got to be careful here. I'm just going to pick these off with my hands because I don't want to cook them, cut the main stem. Like that. Okay, if you can see here, that's the start of one. But I'm going to spray it, not cut it, and keep an eye on it. You want to do this about once a week. If you get quite a lot of rain, then you might need to come out before then. This courgette has been a right pain in the butt because of this here. So and there's a lot of leaves and I've had this on there. So I'm literally praying it's gonna produce something but we'll see. It has got new leaves growing, so I'm hoping it's still going to be okay. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to spray it with this solution. Make sure you do under the leaves. You can use this on your runner beans, tomato plants, courgette. Cucumbers, anything really that the leaf miners will get the doors into. So there you have it. A solution which is you've got things around the house, so it is friendly and it's also cheap. Um hopefully it'll get rid of the little blighters so if you like what my video like and subscribe most of you that watch our videos aren't subscribed so please subscribe because it helps us and it also helps you because we can produce more videos and the more we can produce the more things we can do and it'll be better and bigger see you again soon